yeah, I'm I'm sorry if I'm not going to be like, um, you know, talking in my own words here. I was just reading a bunch of stuff, but uh, here we go. I was going door to door selling, uh, selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry up because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. I quailed in fright uh, and found myself unable to go to go inside. Oh my! I thought to immediately call the police. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. But you said you're—you just said you were unable to go inside, bruh. Okay. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Defendant sitting right over there. Huh. Leary, why didn't you tell the truth? I can defend you against a testimony like that. Why was the phone in the victim's apartment working? There was a blackout in the building. Are phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, but, however, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that uh, Mr. Sawat used was one of those. I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Uh, electricity to Mrs. Stone, or Miss Stone's building, was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. You may begin with your cross-examination. Cross-examination? All right, right, this is it. The real deal. What am exact what exactly am I supposed to, supposed to do? Expose the lies in, you, in the testimony the witness gave you. He was lying? Your client is isn't and it <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Your client is innocent, right? Your witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? Uh. You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to uh, the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. So you gotta find con contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then once you found the contradiction, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Okay. Cool. Let's do this set. Witnesses account. So yeah, I was going door to door when I saw a man fleeing in the apartment. So yeah, you can also um this will become important later because you can also press L1 to press. Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common sight? I find it odd that you would take notice of him. Er, uh, I don't know. He just seems strange to me, that's all. Okay. Like he was mad and yet frightened at the same time. Just like a criminal fleeing the scene of the crime. Refrain from conjecture. Of course, uh, the witness, uh, what the witness means is suspicious. Not sus. Okay. Suspicious. Okay. What happened next? Door half open. Uh, half open, you say? Yes. The door was open halfway. Yes. I watched for a moment, but no one came uh, to close the door. That's odd, in a big city like this, I thought. And what happened next? <sighs> There's a... I mean, um... Like, you don't have to do this, and, uh... I just do it because, um... You know, you, you get some extra flavor text sometimes, and... And, uh, sometimes you get some pretty funny, like, dialogue. So what gave you the idea to do that? Well, the door was half open, you see. Isn't it only human to want to peek? Uh, I suppose so. What are you saying like that? We climb mountains just because they are there. It's the same thing. 
anyone to look inside. Uh, why did Payne cut him off so quickly? Looked into the apartment. What happened then? A woman not moving, dead. Are you sure she was dead? Well, no, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all, and there was blood everywhere. <laughs> I, 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 that was kind of a dumb question, Phoenix. <laughs> then again, I guess he, he didn't know. I don't know. I found myself unable to go inside. Well, I didn't mean to. I'm just wasting time here, I guess. So you didn't touch anything in the apartment except the phone that you used. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Okay, what happened next? Call the police immediately. You thought to call the police? Does that mean you didn't actually call them? Please, please, listen to the rest of the testimony. Yeah, see, yeah, like most of them are just like short like that. And there's like really nothing there, but. Phone in an apartment wasn't working, even though you just said you didn't go inside. Or did you? I can explain that. There was a cordless phone on the shelf in the entranceway. Okay, okay, well, fine. If the drugger's going to say like that, I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Why use a public phone? Well, you see, I don't have a cell phone, and being the middle, and being the middle of the afternoon, there was no answer at the nearby apartments. What time did you call again? I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. So yeah, this here, 1 p.m. Law, no. Objection. Objection! You found the body on 1 p.m., you sure? Man, I'm not... And now I'm thinking of the anime, too. The, the anime is pretty good. Anime is pretty good. Um, I recommend you go watch it if you like the games. Yep, 1 p.m. I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. Notes the time of death sometime after 4 p.m. There was no body, or no body, to find at 1 p.m. Boo! How do you explain this three hour gap? Yeah, though. This, this freaking series is so with it. But it's, it's funny, but it's bad, but it's funny. Oh, that. Um, yeah, how do you explain it? This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Yeah, he said he just said he remembered the remember the time exactly. He said I remember the time exactly. That's a really good question. And seriously, <laughs> I mean, I know this is like, you know, not supposed to be taken too seriously, but um, if if a witness like does that in real court, it's like that's a good question. While sweating like buckets, I mean, really, I don't know. That's all you have to do: point out the contra the contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? <clears throat> Time of discovery. Again. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying at the time it was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Huh. I see you heard a voice saying the time on a tape program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. I already see a problem. You know what to do. I've got this one. Oh. The time of discovery. I heard the time. 
You said heard, not saw. All I, uh, all I saw was the body lying there. I didn't think to look at anything else, least, uh, least of all my watch. So you're saying you heard something, but if you were so shocked by the body, you wouldn't hear anything at all. The witness did say they actually heard the time. It's ludicrous to suggest he wouldn't hear anything. Uh. It's probably coming through the television. What television? Oh, yeah, see, like, I don't know. See what I... That's what I was saying before, like, um, it's not as good as if I already know what to do. That's the thing about these games. Huh? The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the uh, at the time of the discovery, and this record proves it. You couldn't have heard the television or video. Yeah, I will. <laughs> do you have an explanation to this, uh, Mr. Sawit? No, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Wait, I remember now. Hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. You seem rather distraught, too. Yeah, I mean... It must have been the shock of finding the body. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Like, seriously, any witness who does this, I mean, I don't know. I know it's Ace Attorney, so... <laughs> I didn't hear the time, I saw it. <laughs> uh, let's see, there was a table clock in the apartment, uh, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon, the killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been one I saw. A clock? Gladly. Gladly. Electric Gut Buster! Your days are numbered. <sighs> that strikes me as a very suspicious mistake. I can see how you'd be a little doubtful. I'm really sorry, I only remember that table clock. A table clock? Ah, oh, listen to the cross examination me. Cross examination music now. It's all upbeat. A table clock? Was there a clock at the scene? Huh. The murder weapon. And it's a clock. Something's fishy here. All right. Well, it doesn't say anything about it being a clock. <laughs> For a second, I thought I'd choose the wrong one. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was a statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? You with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? <laughs> do you know who I am is? <laughs> Never mind. Just answer the question, Mr. Saw it. I saw it there. That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. I'll listen to the pursuit music, too. I forgot to play this, anyway. As the witness stated, this, is a, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it, and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I... Doesn't look like a clock. I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Oh, really? It was a table clock after all. Yes, the fuck I do. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known it was the... Uh, the weapon was a clock uh, is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. The 
witness to, uh, knew it was a clock because he uh, knew the victim. You're lying. You were inside the apartment the day of the, on the day of the murder. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I could prove that you were the one who killed her. You struck her head with a clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Ah, yeah. Intriguing, huh? Please continue, Mr. Wright. Mr. Saw it. The sound must have like, uh, left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What's the meaning of this? <laughs> Have you gone off the deep end? Baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness. What is his face? <sighs> Did you strike the victim with the clock? I... Oh, the flashbacks. That day I never... Look, the clock. No, I mean, I saw... Yeah. And Phoenix was like, oh. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you. It was him, I tell you. I saw him. He he killed her, and he said, burn, burn. Give him death. Whoa. Sorry if I'm, like, really exasperated about this, but anyway. A moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright, Your Honor, you claim uh, the sound of the witness is, uh, the witness heard uh, came from the clock. Little, little. Do you have any evidence? This whole case is rotting on this. I better think it through carefully. The sound Mr. Saw heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is, uh, a fact which is clear if you simply, uh, examine the clock's batteries, ask the neighbors, and, uh, or try sounding the clock. Yeah, whenever you see that bar, um, the blue bar in the top right uh, corner, you need a, like the red uh, part of it. That means you're about to lose health if you answer it wrong. Let's sound the clock now here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. Beep. Hmm. I think it's 825. A uh, 825. Yeah, strange way to do not the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's uh, 1125. Uh. <laughs> As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely, the, the discrepancy between what Mrs. Shaw had heard and the actual time of death. Try to talk your way out of this one. Ha! Ha ha! You forgot one thing. Uh-oh. What's he talking about now? While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? Good question. How am I going to prove that? Damn it. I was so close. Now, this last part I never got. Well, I kind of get it, but let's see here. Uh, I cannot let you indict the witness, unfortunately. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal! <sighs> now, don't be like the people in Spirit of Justice. Oh, my God. I almost had him. We'll get to that later again, Spirit of Justice. There's nothing I can do about it now. No, Phoenix. Not so fast, Mr. Sowett. Mia, I mean Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. 
I think. But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was full on the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Uh, well, well yes. But it doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think, it, think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Yeah, so I guess this is, this is the start of that turn your thinking around thing. Yes, I can. In fact, I already know it. Oh, uh, you can say, uh, the clock was already running, so i murdering. Yep. Beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. So... Uh, hmm. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on uh, 7.30 the day before the murder. I the same thing about the time, though. So yeah, I guess uh, they kind of expect you to... Like Mia said, think outside the box. Let's see. Yeah. The victim just had just returned home from abroad uh, the day before the murder. As we all know, the time be difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the clock... That's why the time you heard uh, when you struck her dead in the apartment was wrong. Proof of proof enough for you, Mr. Solid? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? <laughs> that was bad, Phoenix. Oh, God, I feel foaming at the mouth. Order, order. Hmm. And that's that. Mr. Payne, your witness, he, uh, he, uh, he was arrested as it was taken away, Your Honor. Hmm. Excuse me, oh my god. I have to say I'm, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen uh, someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Yeah, we'll get used to that. <laughs> it's only a formality, but... This court finds the finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. Booyah. And they're throwing confetti in here. And with that, this court is adjourned. Turns out that Frank Saw was a common burglar. Let's see, he posts a new uh, newspaper. Uh, Salesman uh, to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to our apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sala let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching uh, her place, uh, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sala grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Poor girl. Whew. I still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. 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 I owe it all to you. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since uh, seeing the trial end on such a satisfying note. Oh. Uh, if she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. <laughs> Phoenix. Wait, no, I mean bad. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Goddamn, Phoenix. This case is... This case is... Uh, the case is closed. But my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was, uh, nah, never mind.
Congratulations, Harry. No, don't call him that. Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts. <laughs> Innocent. She's doing the Mia. Don't call him that. I owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. I could. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Yeah, don't... Larry... Oh, Jesus. A present for me? Wait. Wasn't this... Wasn't this uh, the evidence that... Uh, no, that'd be creepy. He says in the anime. I made this uh, clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that, ma don't that make you just want to cry? Larry. Are you so sure? Exqueeze me? <laughs> you people are horrible. And the jokes department. I think she quite, uh, thought quite a lot of you in her own way. You don't gotta sympathize with me, okay? It's okay. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Oh yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? Well, dude, I mean, she kept... She did uh, keep the statue... And since you made it, check this out, Larry. Proof positive, proof positive that you weren't just some chump to her. What about that clock? This clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. <laughs> yeah, she kept it when um. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty heavy clock to take uh, traveling. And evidently, she brought it back with her from Paris, so... Make it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really am. Um, thanks. Oh. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize uh, things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if someone, if our clients are guilty or innocent. <sighs> oh. All we can do is believe in them. Oh, it's spoilers. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I might cut that out. And in order to believe them... Um, You have to believe in yourself. Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Oh, man. This, I don't know. This series is already hitting me. If you listen. Shall we be off? Dinner on me. We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Stop saying that. Oh, speaking of Harry... It's, oh my god, never mind. You were saying part of you, uh, part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Yeah, part at least. Oh, uh, well, you have to tell me uh, more about it sometime, maybe over drinks. First trial came to close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock you gave Mia. Uh, I didn't know it at the time, but that clock was soon going to be, going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. No! <sighs> oh my god. The first turnabout. A new episode is a. I kind of wish, um. 
I kind of wish that like this version didn't spoil. Like, um, I meant to save there. I didn't mean to. I, 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 I meant to save there. I meant to save. Oh fuck. All right, so um, yeah, I'm probably gonna cut out like those um, <clears throat> like the the. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Yeah, I'm gonna cut out those last three minutes there because uh, I, uh, as you saw on the save screen, I pre I accidentally pressed circle when I was meaning to press uh, X. I guess I'm used to playing on my Switch controller <laughs> or something. But yeah, I uh, I didn't save at the end of the last case, and I accidentally started the. Well, I mean, well, I had to start the next case, but I didn't because I didn't save. But yeah, um. But yeah, um, what am I trying to say? So yeah, um, next time. Uh, well, can I even select the episode from the game? I'm sure I can. And if I, if I can't, oh, I guess I'll just go through the first episode again. But yeah, um, um so I guess that's, that's going to be it for, uh, this part, for the first two parts, I guess. Uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope, uh, I hope this has been, uh, fun to watch and enjoyable, despite the fact that I'm not going in blind, mostly, on these games. Um, but yeah. So, I'll see you guys next time when hopefully I can, uh, stay consistent on recording this in Paper Mario and stuff. <laughs> But we'll see. Um, again, thank you for watching. And uh, next part, we'll start episode two. Bye.